Aero Air Flight 1285 is nearing the end of a 6,000-mile journey from Egypt to the United States. The DC-8 is on its way to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, via Germany and Newfoundland. On board are eight crew members and 248 passengers. Most of them are US soldiers with the famed 101st Airborne Division, the Screaming Eagles. At 5.30 in the morning, the Douglas DC-8 lands at Gander International Airport on the eastern edge of Newfoundland, Canada. They had to refuel in Gander before they could complete the, the flight into uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Gander Tower. Beginning 950, we've completed refueling and pre-flight checks. Requesting taxi to runway 31. Uh, Big A950, winds at 290 at four knots. Take off now, runway 22. A last minute change puts Aero Air on a different runway than originally planned. 9,900 feet, take off to the south, we're good. Copy that, Gander, runway 22. Merry Christmas. Roger that, Gander Tower. And a Merry Christmas to you, too. The DC-8 accelerates to takeoff speed. 80 knots. Check. Rotate. Aero Air 1285 lifts off from Gander Airport at 6.46 a.m. But just seconds later. Uh, she's flying like a pig. Positive rate. Negative. I'm sure for the last few seconds, those soldiers knew that there was a serious problem in hand. What's your altitude? Pull up. Come on, airspeed. Airspeed. Watch the trees. First Officer Connolly pulled the nose back, trying to get the plane in the air. What he didn't realize was he was sealing their fate. The DC-8 was already on the verge of a stall. Pulling the nose up only made things worse. The aircraft's weight had been underestimated. Its lift compromised by ice on the wings. A fatal combination. If you take one of the factors out, if you take the ice out and have the same weight, maybe you won't have the accident. If you take out the, the heavy weight and still have the icing, maybe you won't have the accident. But if you have them combined together, you have the accident. 